Finally this evening, Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. Well, these days, another American is taking Edison's idea to heart. Here's Michelle Miller. People who think Americans don't make things anymore have never met Gordon Bennett. If something's kind of old and beat up like this, that's, I love that. Bennett has turned his eye for the old and discarded into artistic mechanical creations, or as he calls them, robots. This is an important question. Do they work? <laughs> um, some of them light up, some of the heads <laughs> light up. Do they actually do anything? No. <laughs> It started four years ago when Bennett was inspired by old toy parts. He's been on a scavenger hunt ever since. Are you inspired on the spot? Definitely. And I'll see things that I'll think, oh gosh, this is amazing. I can't believe somebody threw this away. Most of the robots take a month to build. Each stands about three feet tall. He's even given them names like Bud and Betty and more obvious ones like Fireplug and 57. What makes a good robot? You have to look at things and say, does that look like a head? Do I see a face? Bennett says parts on average cost 10 or $15, providing him a healthy profit margin. The prices are actually ranging from about $1,000 up to $5,000. They've even become a must have for celebrities. Uh, Zach Braff bought the last robot. Mary Kate Olsen. Really? You're so humble. Well, I'm nervous. <laughs> nervous for good reason. This is a, an old mailbox. After a divorce and the loss of his advertising job, so Bennett says pouring his energy into his art helped keep him going. I, I have no idea what I would have done if I didn't, if this wasn't available to me. Wow. After, you know, when, when my time was up. So it's just lucky. Lucky to find value in what so many others have thrown away. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York.